Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how we can connect to a server and get the details of virtual machines running on that server. So let's go ahead, create a new RPA project. Let's call it PowerShell. Under toolbox, expand ITSM. Here you can find the PowerShell connector. Drag and drop this connector to global objects. Double click on this connector to expose the methods under object explorer. So the first component we will need is create shell. Let's connect it to start. This helps us create a new shell where we can execute our scripts and commands. Next component we will need is invoke script. Here you can write the script which you want to execute. Let's write a script to connect to a server. This is the IP of the server, the username and the password. We'll go ahead drag one more invoke script and here we'll mention get VM. This script will help us get all the virtual machines from this server. This returns a collection which will have the details of all the virtual machines running on this particular server. So let's go ahead put a for each loop after this. Pass the collection to the for each loop and from here we'll use the get values by property method. Pass each object from this for each component to the get values by property method. For example, we want to extract a couple of properties from this. Let's specify the properties. So we want to get the name of the server. We want to get the memory for, from the server and we want to get the state of the server. So the power state. So let's say for example, we want to get these three from the server. Click OK and put message boxes for each of them. So first it will go ahead display the name then go ahead display the memory and then after displaying the memory go ahead and display the power state for each server. So let's go ahead and execute this automation to see the details. So it connects to the server and it has displayed the name of the server. Click OK. It has 4 GB of memory and the power is on which is 1. For the next server, this is the name of the server. This is the memory in GB and again it is running and this will happen for all the virtual machines running on that server. So we have about seven to eight servers and that is done. That's pretty much it on how you can get virtual machine details from any server using the PowerShell connector. Thank you. Intellibot. Excellence made simple.